Hey there, how are you? I'm Baba Sam, relief from chronic illness. So today I want to talk about, you know, that we're nailing the door shut of possibilities. Well, I was in these chronic support groups, MS, bipolar, whatever it may be. And the common theme when people hear my story, my recovery is that I'm a realist. I'm incurable. Wow. Allow that to sink in. I'm a realist. I'm on, I'm incurable. To say that you're incurable really closes the door of any potentials or possibilities for a future where this could be eliminated. We have no idea. We have all these mental stories, but we really don't know what the future holds, but you can close the door on the future by saying I'm incurable. I'm stuck. This is what I have. This is why we really have this mental health epidemic. We're slamming that door shut. And when you hear somebody has a story that's too good to be true, well, it's only too, to be, too good to be true for your mind. Because your mind has all these stories that this can't be, that I've been healthy for 11 plus years, that I don't need the cane, the medicine. I don't need any of this anymore. But I was never focused on healing though. I just want it inner peace. So when we're talking about relief from chronic illness, relief from poverty, bad relationships, whatever it may be, the relief begins from this place of peace, of becoming aligned to who we really are. And this is difficult for the mind to comprehend because we are identified with our thoughts. Your thoughts are your reality. I'm depressed. You are depressed. It's actually the body is depressed, the mind may be depressed, but the spirit, the one who sees the eyes, is not depressed. It just sees it as the current human experience. But you keep closing that door of possibilities. You keep nailing it shut. And that's not helpful. We gotta take back our power. And I was guilty of this as well. When I was sick for 38 years, it was the doctors, the knowledge ones that were responsible for me. And know what happened? I was getting sicker and sicker and sicker. And they talk about this quite a bit, that recovery really begins when we take responsibility for ourselves by following our own inner guidance and not relying on the pressures of the mind, the demands of the mind, and the demands of society that we need to behave a certain way and believe a certain way. This is not helpful. So I want you to relax and remember, why are you taking that thought as true? This is what really stuck out to me when I was seeing a psychiatrist for nearly 20 years. It was always more medicine, trying to reframing thoughts, but chasing thoughts with thoughts. He never once said to me, why are you taking your thoughts as truth? Why you take your beliefs as, tr as truth? You never went beyond the thoughts, beyond the beliefs, into that space, that spiritual space, the one who sees through the eyes. For the spirit, there is nothing incurable. Nothing is impossible. Because the energy that's created this room, the sun, the universe, Everything stemmed from consciousness, from spirit, or God, or Allah, whatever word resonates with you. We don't want to get hung up. Inner guidance within us sometimes doesn't speak in words. It's a nudge. It's a feeling that you need to go do this, that you need to go do that. But most of us ignore that inner compass, thinking the mind knows best, or someone outside of us knows what's best. But ultimately, we have to see that we know what's best for us, that we live in this body. And society is constantly telling you that you don't know what's best for you. Do this, do that, even though it's not in your best. are lost in thoughts. So what we're really trying to do with these daily videos is to remind you 
Look beyond your thoughts. Stop identifying with your examining the of new power. Whatever it is, we just need to let go of that label, that attachment. Doesn't mean to ignore the body. We need to pay attention to the body and the needs of the body, but we gotta see what feels right to us. Because you and live in this body, you inhabit this body, but we are not the body, if you will. Because this body will come and go. And you see the photographs of you over the years. You don't have the same body. It's changing daily. But the one thing that does not change is the divine essence within you, that deeper essence, soul, spirit, consciousness, whatever you wish to call it. You don't want to get hung up on words. It's more of a feeling, a feeling the silent peace within you when you can sit quietly and the mind is not distracting you, not pulling you all over the place. But I'm really surprised that when I go in these groups and they hear my story, they cannot accept that there's a different possibility, a different way. Because the mind has ingrained into them that this is the only way. Their suffering, their pain. So it doesn't matter what happened to me, but ultimately what's going to happen for you. I have my freedom. I'm no longer tied down to the mind. And you can do the same. Another free event coming up in a few weeks, a small event on Zoom. Just drop a comment if you would like an invite to that. I have my chronic, you know, Relief from Chronic Illness group on Facebook that I just started, creating daily videos in there and some posts, and I'll do Q and A's in there and other practices. So ultimately, I want people to have freedom. That the job of a true spiritual teacher is to remind you who you are, not to fill you with concepts, with beliefs, with more mental busyness. We really want to step out of all that busyness and into our greater truth of who we really are. So just relax, just sit here right now, pause, take a breath, relax. Feel the peace of this moment. Let go of any future guessing, any past regrets, anything that where the mind is dragging you to the past. Forget that. Just sit here and just breathe. You're sitting, you're relaxing, you're watching me. But you're also watching yourself because we are consciousness and all these different forms, all these different bodies and all these different shapes and forms, this room, this galaxy, this universe. We have that energy within us because we are that energy. But I don't want to get too involved, too deep for you. I really want to step back and say, be mindful of your words. Be open to new possibilities. Don't nail that door shut. I've worked with... Quickly move them past that and give them a glimpse of two and to give them a glimpse of who they really are. When I do these clarity calls, they're only 11 minutes, but I give them the direct experience of who they are. Then I can see what is going on with them. And that's a different topic completely, how I just know things, because we're all consciousness. We can tap into that stream of consciousness that we're all coming from this place of infinite well-being, if you will. All right, my computer is acting up a little bit, but it's all good. I just want to remind you, let go of the hammer, let go of the nails, relax, allow that door to open up into this new world, this new reality, that from the level of your spirit, your soul, consciousness, God, Allah, whatever resonates with you, Nothing is impossible. The universe is filled with infinite possibilities. Are you open to receive them? 
All right, well, take good care of yourself. I will talk to you tomorrow.